I Hey everyone. Today I'm just gonna talk about depression, how to get through it. If you're seeing this video, you may be struggling with depression or you've been through it. Or you're just watching someone else that's going through it currently and you wanna know so you can help someone else that's going through it. Well the best way to deal with this depression is just to keep going just to stay focused on your goals keep creating keep expressing outside with your voice and with your mind be honest you know be in a safe place be in a safe space speak your truth ask for healing from God and angels if you believe in that kind of thing if you don't then speak to professionals that can guide you to the right support and the right medication if you need that um, speaking to your friends about how you feel even just crying but I, I find it hard to cry these days because of the medication I'm on so it's like tears won't actually come but I do get sad and um, I think the main cause for mine is like it's just my mental illness in general like if I'm suffering with symptoms, which I do some days, as in like intrusive thoughts or like perceived external, ordinary, uh, auditory hallucinations and stuff like that, I know some other people go for it. It's, um, it can be quite heavy. But how I cope with it is just to listen to music, to watch films, to play video games. I wait for the dark night to pass and in the morning and the day when it's sun shining I tend to stop worrying, you know. Sometimes at night it's just like this, like especially in the UK when it's raining and, and it's just it's just like a sad sort of day, like with everything that's happened in the world too, like it's overwhelming at times but Stay true to yourself, you know. Stay true to who you are and the kindness of others, like don't take it for granted because a lot of people can benefit from your help and you can benefit a lot from their help too. Yeah man. I get like pretty sad. Like even now I'm pretty sad but it's not always about being in the dark or being in the light, you know. I may be in the light, but sometimes in the light you still may, may get bitten, you know, by the snake of depression, you know. And hot countries are still things that can hurt you, you know, where it's sunny all the time, but yet there's still threats, you know. I live in where I live in the UK, like in the town, like in the Midlands, it's like you gotta um, just sort of get through the grey days, <coughs> like the rainy days, <coughs> and you just gotta hold faith that everything's gonna get better because it will get better. Like, I've had days like this before, but it seemed like this is it. like. It can't get any worse. And it felt like bad stuff was about to happen, but nah, the day the day passed, slept it off. I woke up feeling a lot better. So maybe it's days, weeks, maybe months. Some people go for depression for years, but eventually that dark cloud passes over, or that poison from that snake bite comes out of your system and heals if you get what I'm saying for me it's like important to to stay kind you know not to get angry or to flip out on anyone or to sin you know I try my best to be nice as much as I can and be good even when there's so much frustration going on, I, I, 
I'll talk about it saying like I feel this way because of how my mind feels, you know. Every, every emotion and every like thing that we experience like with our thoughts, it all comes from inside us, you know. It's our reaction and our um, internal expression to what the situation is. So when you express that calmly and kindly, there's no, that means uh, there's no reason for panic or no reason for urgency. It's just a peaceful way of communicating and people can communicate back to you a peace. You ought to be strong, you know? And everyone's a smart person. It's just not everyone knows how to express themselves the best ways at times. But everyone can if they need to. And if they want to. You've got to be gentle with yourself. Tell yourself it's all right. Speak to yourself like you're your own friend. And believe that it will get better because I know it will get better. And plus, this life here isn't forever either. This world is not our home. Like we got heaven after here anyway. So, might as well help bring that awareness to people that there's heaven afterwards anyway. You don't need to preach or proclaim anything but just being kind and like being that space that safe space and that presence like holding holding presence for someone that's all that really matters sometimes to someone and if you make them laugh then that might help too <clears throat> we aren't feeling this way right now because it's just like I ain't really tried to be make myself laugh, I've just been sitting in it, you know, sitting in the pain, sitting in the rain, you know, no one is insane or crazy, you know, you may express yourself or like be over the top and stuff, but everyone's still got a soul, everyone still has feelings. And everyone deserves to be treated with respect. And if you're thinking of an example right now of like a terrible person that you still think should be a perceived terrible person that you think deserves respect, why not give that respect to yourself? Because you're so much better anyway. I don't know. I don't know if that made sense, but yeah. <coughs> Just um, just sit with me for a minute and just, just breathe and uh, try and think of good things like things that are good, lovely and beautiful and stuff like that. Just think about them. Think about what you like to experience, you know. Don't worry about manifestation stuff like that because it's not like you have a bad thought and then, uh-oh, it's manifested. No, that's not true. You just gotta think about the good things, and if bad things come up, then no reason to get paranoid. It, it's just, it's just your brain just uh, figuring itself out. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen, because it won't. Even the good things that you think of won't exactly happen, but because you're projecting love, and love is like the attraction force, the secret, the power, you know. It's love that brings stuff to us. Anything you hate is getting reflected away from you. That's just how it works. Um, grace is sufficient for everyone too, so whatever you need, it will come to you. Just don't give up on yourself, you know, you don't need to hurt yourself it'll be alright, it will be alright, I promise you that, even though it seems like tens of bad things have happened, eventually the sun will come out again, you know, the sun will come out tomorrow as that song says. Forgive yourself too. 
not like healing and low energy will purge away any stuff that in, that that stresses you out like forgive yourself because you didn't know better I didn't know better when I caused trouble we just think we knew better and we could have been better but if it happened then it means we didn't and it's okay you've learned and you become a better person from it and forgive those other people too so yeah it's a strange time to be alive but it will get better in time. Peace.